but during normal times, poll workers call out on election day, so you always want to have some trained people on standby because life just happens. Well, heading into this primary, some counties just do not have that. And tonight, there's questions about November. We've been looking high and low. Uh, we have had uh, five workers from the clerk of courts come. We've reached out to substitute teachers. It has been busy in yes. Citrus County. To fill a poll worker shortage, Supervisor of Elections Susan Gill and her team ran ads, did radio interviews, and reached out to the county and state. Tonight, they have 300 workers to man the early voting sites, just seven shy of the ideal number. But, you know, we don't have anybody to replace these dropouts. Unlike past years, there's no safety net for when workers call out. Gill says on Tuesday, workers will wear two hats, and she expects no problems for the primary. Meantime, in Hillsboro. Um, we partnered months ago with the uh, Tampa Bay Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we've also worked with the county, of course. Election got, supervisor uh, Craig Latimer also got creative. He has the 1,600 poll workers he needs Tuesday. But the primary is a smaller scale election where the stakes are much lower than November. What are you most worried about when it comes to the general election? Um, poll workers, right? <laughs> yes. Gil says they will need more poll workers than ever, partly because of the extra cleaning required by the pandemic. I mean, elections are very, very important, and we've got to get them done, and we're going to get them done. Um, but we need people, citizens and such, to step up. So our supervisors have managed to pull it off this time, but again, the demand for workers is going to be much higher in November. Also, we want to make sure that your vote gets counted, so we will be closely watching for any and all issues related to casting a ballot. Please contact me if you have any problems on election night.